Last week marked the five-year anniversary of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas massacre in Parkland, Florida, where 17 people were killed and 17 more were injured. Just last year, 19 children and two teachers were killed in another school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Those shootings flaring PTSD for one local special needs teacher, eventually causing her to leave the classroom. According to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, Shakia Harris is just one of more than half a million teachers who've now left their jobs since 2021. And as our Paxton Boyd explains, it led her to discover and thrive in a new passion. For Shakia Harris, painting is more than just a form of expression. It's an escape, an outlet. As the oil touches the canvas, each stroke of the brush, a release from deeply rooted trauma. I had to really take a second to refill my cup because it was, it was empty. And the only way to do that was to step away from the classroom at that time. Shortly after the massacre at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, that claimed the lives of 19 children and two teachers, Harris left her job as a special education teacher. I, I, I couldn't go into work. I had to call in. It, it was that bad. I had to miss the last day because I knew if I went, oh my gosh, excuse me. Good Lord. Um, I might need to take a minute. I knew that if I went in that the moment I got to school, I would see those visuals from Uvalde in, in the hallways in the classroom. The rise in school shootings across the nation had taken its toll on Harris. Aside from the constant stress and anxiety of having to worry about her students, it also triggered trauma from an incident in 2018. One of the men would stay on me with the gun, he would keep it in my face, while the other two men were going through my apartment at the time, um, just tearing it apart. A victim of a home invasion, Harris and her then boyfriend, Mitch, now her husband, were held at gunpoint as two other men ransacked her apartment growing increasingly frustrated. Did you think you were going to die? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I knew. I mean, I, I knew in that moment, I was like, well, it's going to happen any second now. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to turn and look at Mitch one last time. I, I just, I knew it. The three individuals would eventually leave the two unharmed, but the incident would leave a lasting impact. Each school shooting would trigger her PTSD. And after making the difficult decision to walk away from the classroom, Harris turned to art. There are times where I will come down here and paint, and afterwards I feel something similar to like a runner's high. Like I feel like I just worked out. Completely self-taught, Harris is now an entrepreneur, selling her work to clients all across the country, performing at wedding venues and teaching classes online. The mother of two, hoping to provide a safe space for anyone who is struggling, providing healing energy through art. It's really, really awesome to turn some of the darkest and ugliest times in my life into something that's a celebration or something that's beautiful and for that message to resonate with someone else. A constant reminder that sometimes even the most difficult decision is oftentimes the best one. The beauty of life and having you know, ownership over your your path and, and your future is like you can you can pivot at any time. You are never too stuck in a situation to make a change. Just a remarkable story. That was our Paxton Boyd reporting. If you'd like to take a look at Harris's work or if you're interested in booking her or perhaps taking lessons, you can visit her website. We've shared a link to it in this web story at WTVQ.com.